Thank you. We'll now uh, begin our testimony, starting with the lead sponsors of the bills on the agenda today. Uh, we'll begin with Representative Torres Small of New Mexico, the lead sponsor of H.R. 4891, the Western Water Security Act of 2019. Representative Torres Small, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Chairman Huffman. Thank you, Ranking Member McClintock, and the entire subcommittee. It's an honor to get to speak with you today on the Western Water Security Act of 2019 bipartisan legislation to help stabilize and improve water infrastructure in the Western United States. I deeply appreciate that both of your opening remarks mentioned the challenges we face when it comes to water scarcity. Uh, indeed, despite the brief re reprieve we have in New Mexico, the droughts we are facing now are among the most severe in recorded history, and the continued diminished flows in the Colorado River and Rio Grande indicate that this is not a one-time occurrence. Indeed, climate change poses an existential threat to our way of life in New Mexico and the West. Now is the time for action and investment. These challenges are not new for the West. For decades, we have negotiated to ensure that all geographies and users have equitable access to water. I became a water attorney to be part of the challenging but meaningful decisions we face around water. As politics became increasingly partisan and progress is increasingly stunted, water remains a key area where Democrats, Republicans, independents, industry, agriculture, conservation groups, and Native American tribes can come together to reach a compromise that works for everyone. In 2012, when I was a field representative for Senator Tom Udall, I recognized that while progress was being made in individual projects, New Mexico wasn't using statewide collaboration to deal with these historic droughts. With this realization, I organized Senator Udall's first statewide conference, water conference, to bring stakeholders together to find the ideas everyone could agree on and pursue in a cooperative way. In the following years, Senator Udall was able to implement many of these consensus items through larger legislative packages, including reauthorizing and expanding the Emergency Drought Relief Act and restarting annual funding to the Transboundary Aquifer Assessment Program, which authorizes scientific research for aquifers that span the U.S.-Mexico border to manage these sensitive water resources. It's now time to implement the next generation of consensus water policies for the West. The Western Water Security Act of 2019 has its roots in that conference in 2012, updated and expanded to meet today's needs. This legislation reauthorizes and expands the Emergency Drought Relief Act to include entities that are engaged in collaborative processes to restore the environment, and it reauthorizes and expands the Transboundary Aquifer Assessment Program by increasing the numbers of aquifers Arizona can study. Based on conversations we had at the conference, we helped the Bureau of Reclamation begin a leasing program of water rights in the middle Rio Grande. This bill would increase the flexibility to manage this program including acquiring water rights to enhance wildlife and ecosystem restoration. This provision also calls for a plan to more efficiently provide a stable source of water for Bosque del Apache National Wildlife Refuge. Using the lessons we learned at, 20, at the 2012 conference, this bill improves the popular Water Smart program by increasing funding from $480 million to $600 million, expanding eligibility to include environmental NGOs, and allowing for funds to be used for aquifer recharge infrastructure. The Western Water Security Act also puts local voices in front and center, recognizing their vital role in providing water infrastructure. For example, this legislation adds $65 million in funding for desalination and makes eligible projects from irrigation districts, water districts, and Native American tribes, setting aside $15 million and increasing the proportion of federal funding for rural desalination to help communities like mine access the water that is nearly but not quite within reach. Desalination can be a vital part of the water supply mix for the Southwest. For example, in my district, the water supply for the city of Alamogordo and Holloman Air Force Base was radically disrupted when the 2012 Little Bear Fire poured ash into the water supply. A new brackish desalination will help diversify their water supply. As well, this le legislation reauthorizes the Rio Grande Pueblo Irrigation Infrastructure Grants through fiscal year 2029, ensuring these communities continu can continue to build their economies, preserve cultural traditions, and maximize water conservation in the Rio Grande Basin. New Mexicans know that agua es vida, water is life. 
As the West continues to chart a new normal of drier years and more intense droughts, we must lay the groundwork for long-term adaptation strategies. Chairman Huffman and Ranking Member McClintock, thank you for your consideration of the Western Water Security Act of 2019, and I urge your support for this important legislation. I look forward to working with you on, all, on implementing these necessary policies for water in the West. Thank you, Representative Torres-Small. We appreciate it.